What is going on, nerds? It is me, Virtually Nerdy, here, and we are back playing some Skyward Sword. I'm gonna try and get as freaking much done as I possibly can here because of how much time was wasted in the first episode just by talking. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna be smart and avoid as much talking as I possibly can. So, I think... If I remember correctly, my loft wing should be over in the cave over here. Like, I know that I'm technically supposed to be, like, asking people for hints on where- Oh! Oh, but I can't get in there because I need- I need a sword. Oh, you know what? I gotta talk to... I gotta talk to somebody about getting a sword. And I think there's a sword training guy, like, somewhere around here. So if I'm correct, there should be a sword trainer guy over here. Sparring Hall, here it is. And it's closed. So, I think I might have to talk to the headmaster? No, not the headmaster, the... The one dude who was taking care of the raccoon cat thing. What's wrong, Splinky? You look, you look a little pale. What? Your loft wing's missing? A strange and troubling. Do you, do you think you can find him? You're gonna start looking for him now. Well, I think you make it back in time to fly the ceremony. It looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not. Oh, go f <laughs> yourself! Did you just make a a joke in my time of worry? Participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not. You can find the bird on time. Yeah, screw you, dude. As the headmaster has summoned me. Alright, then I'll go speak with him immediately. Still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. I think it's you. No. Ooh, boy. Hi. Don't men open doors for a lady anymore? Oh, wait. It's too many of those ladies anymore? How l no, actually, kind of like. Don't men open doors for ladies anymore? How long am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Huh? Oh, it's you, Splinky, say! You look flustered, did something happen? What? You can't find your loft wing? Um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at school the whole time. Well, thanks. Thanks, real appreciate. Really appreciate that. Alright, I know I don't want to do it, but I think you might actually have information for me. What? Your loft wing is missing. But I just saw him. Goose's bird was chasing off after your feathered fella. Which way? I think it will be... To be honest, I don't really know where they went. Okay, so we just have to find Goose? Oh, for the love of... There you go, little boy. Ah, I got a blue rupee. I think Goose is over here, right? Goose! Yeah, you, you stirred such a pain with all that scratching and backing. Of course. Of course it was crimson, you know? If I had big crimson loft wing like that, it's gonna have go down with the fight. Oh god, your face. But we got him now, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be, he's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. Anyway... What?! Splinky, yeah, yeah, it's... how long have you been standing there? 
God, could I even look a little intimidating? What's your problem anyway? Oh wait, I got it. You would talk about today's race. I can see it's in those dopey eyes of yours. They're bleeding. Oh, Rose, you're here. Please find it in your heart to let me win today. Please! You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda on top of the statue of goddess at the end of the ceremony. Fucking Christ, with all the text. Well, sorry, pal. Goose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart you might even get coming second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where's that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and get lost? Hey, nice hair. You lay off my do right now or I'll flatten you. Everybody knows I've got the slickest pompadour in town. I can stab you with it. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget about how you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids, big deal. Doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow some backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. Hey, just who may you be talking to me, Chris? Oh. oh. Zelda, hey. No, it's just... Oh, my God. The texts. Don't even try, Chris. You're picking out speaking again, are you? Don't worry about how my hands clipping through my bracelet. It does that all the time. He's a student of the academy like all of us. Why do you... Oh, why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? Did he just come his pants? Oh my god! Gruz, you're in public! Forget it, I wasn't supposed... Supposing anything, alright? <laughs> We're out of here, boys. Later, Splinky. Hope you find your bird or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback towards the knighthood to find a bird... That the bird or get... What the f <laughs> So find that bird to get real taste of failure. It's your special flavor. I think whatever just happened earlier is your special flavor, and I think it's still in their pants. Might be just squishing around in there, dude. Hate to say it, but I'm begging to suspect. Beginning to suspect those blackheads had something to do with your left wing's disappearance. Speaking of those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we better start searching. I fly around Skyline so you can spot any trees of your bird. Father said he'd talk to Instructor Howell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony. Still worry, we'll find a bird in time. Okay, bye! Let's hope my bird's still around! I hope you are all enjoying the last five seconds of gameplay. Oh, and this opened up. Great. Hey. Who's speaking? Oh. Over here. I have some information about your loft wing. Come here. Oh. <laughs> well, that's fun. Watch your step there. You can't always depend on the knights like me to swoop in and save you. Oh, that was a girl. <laughs> <Yay! laughs> Alright. Hey, Splinky. I was just looking for you. But you just called me. I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. 
And get this, when I asked Fledge about he, what he knew, he started acting weird. I'm so sorry, Splinky. I really wanted to tell you, but if Goose found out, I told you. Sounds like Goose forced him to keep quiet about it. Everybody's voice just changes. Don't worry about it. Go on, tell him the truth. This is just a little while ago when I was cleaning the dining hall. Groose and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Splinky, but I, it was uh, just as I was trying to sneak away. Groose and his gang grabbed me. They put me in the bucket. They said if I told you, they'd make sure I'd never be able to race a bird ever again. Threatened my ankles, Splinky. Sounds like Groose and his buddies had a plan to capture a bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. Yeah, that's it. Right there. It's... I think X means where the waterfall is. Oh my god. The gyro for this needs a lot of resetting. Cool. Forgive me, Splinky. I can't help be such a coward. That's why I'm never gonna fly. Okay. If you're going near the waterfall, remember there are some dangerous things there. Creepy, crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw the knight commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should ask him if you can go borrow one. Hell yeah, sparring hall's open now. So I was right, I had to come in here eventually. Oh, hey Splinky. So you still want to get some sword practice even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room, go on in there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take it and walk away, buddy. Oh my god, we finally opened something! Students at the Night Academy practice with these. It looks like it's fairly sharp blade. Aha! Alright, cool. Got a little idea of what it's like. Bye! Hey! You can't take swords outside of the sparring hall! What do you think you're doing, sneaking out with that? Yeah, that's right, get your dumb over here. Hey! What? Your loft wing is missing. Oh, forget it! I'd have to go against every rule in the book and let you do it. Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once, but remember, Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. Just don't want you to see you swinging around like crazy out there. I know a ton. I don't want to get in ton of trouble over this. So here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice of these logs first. And once you get outside with that sword, only use it when absolutely have to. Got it? Yeah. Alright, real quick. I want to just... Okay. Just going to get a little practice in with it. Okay. Come on. Okay. Okay. There we go. Really strong swordsman, easy to teach too. You make your instructor proud. Are you ready to try spin attack? Okay. I'm fine with getting a little training on this, especially how difficult it is. Great, now I'm gonna surround you with logs. Use spin attack to cut them without moving from that spot. Hell yeah, that's fun. Go to run! It sure looked like it felt good. I wish I could feel something. So why don't you try a fatal blow to choose on close out our session? Sure. Alright, when your enemy is down, target it with ZL and throw yourself at it to land a final blow. Do a slash on that log when it's down. Try finishing it off with this ugh, technique. Okay. Okay, that might be a little bit tricky to get used to. 
Fatal Blow is an effective move to use right after you use your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you have to land a, that Fatal Blow quick before they get up. Cool. I gotta get... I gotta get the frick out of here. But you know what? That is 16 minutes, so we will quickly end the episode here and start a new episode later. But hey... Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the Digital Illusion podcast. We got 20 episodes out by now, okay? Go check it out. It's a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep being nerds, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Woo!